right, here we go. We're getting things started. One half of the tag team, The Vice, Dan Diz facing off against the uh, one half of the tag team champions, Amp Army, Nerd Rage. And, uh, of course, he's got his tag team partner, Nine Blue, at ringside. Big shot to Dan Diz. And another combination of shots there to follow up. Dan Diz reverse whip off the ropes and a nice arm drag takedown now by Dan Diz. Of course, the other half of the tag team, the Vice, Archie Lee, not yet cleared to fight by officials at the GWA uh, due to injury reasons. Go, Nerd Rage sets him up and takes him down with a nice suplex there. Good clean, well executed. Which uh, we wouldn't really expect a whole lot less from one half of the tag team champions. Dantiz slams the face of Nerd Rage down to the mat. Into the corner, hits that turnbuckle hard, and down goes Nerd Rage as Dan Diz begins to control this match. Dan Diz controlling this match now after a high drop kick, well placed into the chest of Nerd Rage, flattens him out again with another one. And Diz looks, looks to be trying to disassemble Nerd Rage at this point. This may be an opportunity. Here we go. Dan Diz, gut wrench. And all the way around with a huge gut wrench suplex to Nerd Rage. Is Nine Blue trying to get involved now? No, two count. Dan Diz looks like he's lining it up. He's getting ready. Nerd Rage goes up. Can he hit it? Perfectly executed Canadian neck breaker. He's got the leg hooked. Two and three. The Vice has not been successful in beating Amp Army as a team. But in a one-on-one, -on -one, Dan Diz successful at taking down Nerd Rage. What does this mean for the Vice in the future? And what does this mean for the Tag Team Champs, Nerd Rage and Nine Blue? Um, you know, for their confidence. What, is this, what does this do? Where does this put you as far as a mental state goes? Well, we're going to have to wait and find out. As for now, Dan Diz, one half of the Vice, walking away the winner in this one.